हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सानम के बी फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स ऑफ आरबीएन बी कॉलेज श्रीरामपुर दिस इज माय थर्ड लेक्चर ऑन द टॉपिक मैग्नेटिक फील्ड्स ड्यू टू इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी सॉ अबाउट द वॉट इज मीन बाय दैट लॉ रेंज फोर्स दैट फोर्स produced due to magnetic field now when a current flowing through a conductor then magnetic field is uh, perpendicular to that uh, conducting current and direction of that magnetic field also explained by right hand rule now today we are going to the article 10.5 magnetic force on a wire carrying current considering the different shapes of wire we can find the magnetic force on a wire carrying current okay now first one consider the wire is a straight wire now our simplicity we consider that straight wire suppose that wire ac here now current i will be flowing through this conducting wire now in this direction entering the current then here leaving the current then a magnetic field producer around it now here uh, you know the symbol for this one that dot in a circle that indicate that magnetic field this magnetic field which is directed in outward direction perpendicular to that plane of figure and now <coughs> here we our simplicity consider that length of a conducting wire is a capital l and here uh, is the electron having a charge negative charge here and now that vd indicate that the dip to velocity means current here uh, direction of current is like this one that is the <coughs> conventional current here current always uh, directed uh, in this direction but actual motion of a electron is like this one and therefore this is the drift to velocity for that electron okay now <coughs> electric current that is the charge q is equal to it you know that current i is equal to charge divided by time here now when this current flowing through that conductor of length l in time t then that uh, drift to velocity vd is equal to distance divided by time now this equation implies what is the value of t here value of t will be l upon vd that is a drift velocity putting the value of this t in this equation what is the charge q is equal to i into this length l divided by vd this is the charge on this conducting wire which is a straight wire okay now again a uh, magnetic force produced here that uh, fm which is perpendicular to this length and that force is given by q into that v cross v this is a lorentz force or did you study here now here uh, replace this velocity by this drift velocity velocity of that uh, electron 
and now q into that phi d phi d cross b bar this is the force here and now put the value of q here that is a force due to magnetic field fm is equal to value of q will be il divided by vd now in bracket this uh, vd cross b bar and now <coughs> then uh, in terms of their magnitude that equations becomes that i l phi d b sin theta divided by that phi d this phi d we get cancel then force fm is equal to i l b sin theta here uh, <coughs> this is the force producer on this straight conducting wire that fm is equal to il b sin theta and now if this uh, theta is equal to 90 degree means that uh, magnetic field here perpendicular to that length then uh, value of that force comes to be fm is equal to i l b sin 90 okay what is sin 90 sin 90 is a uh, one and therefore this term is one only this force fm is equal to i l b when when theta is equal to 90 degree means that magnetic field and length of that conducting wire both are perpendicular to each other then fm is equal to i l b okay if this b is not perpendicular not perpendicular then that force is given by fm is equal to i l b sin theta now in this way we obtain the force <coughs> on a wire carrying current i suppose a wire is a straight wire okay in this way we can uh, find the force acting on a straight conducting wire okay now another uh, concept of conductor is a arbitrary shaped wire okay now here uh, wire kasha is a arbitrary shaped then uh, current i will be flowing through that wire here is the direction of a current there will be i now when this current flowing through that arbitrary shape wire now this symbol indicate that there is a magnetic field which is uh, directly in outward and perpendicular to this length of a wire suppose this conducting wire <coughs> consists of a infinitesimal uh, small lens dl which is made up from number of lens dl and now we have to find what is the 
force due to magnetic field here now how you can find the force in that uh, same manner <coughs> we consider that uh, this term here in a uh, vector uh, notations that is a uh, fm is equal to l cross b now here uh, or this equation also written in that vector product that fm is equal to i l cross b now here uh, <coughs> this uh, lb sin theta can be written in terms of cross product that is a uh, here length is perpendicular to that magnetic field and the force of that uh, straight conducting wire is given by i in bracket l cross b that is l bar cross b bar here okay now here uh, using this concept we have to find the force for that arbitrarily shaped wire and now this wire is made up of a small lens dl then uh, that force fm is equal to that i okay that i into what is length here dl bar cross b bar here now here uh, magnetic field is uh, directed outward which is perpendicular to that arbitrary shaped wire here now this symbol indicate that magnetic field is uh, in outward direction and therefore we get that fm is equal to dl cross b bar where uh, <coughs> dl with the uh, only this part for this part this is the force produced by magnetic field now we consider that this uh, total arbitrary shaped wire then uh, we get the integration of that equation this suppose this is equation number 2 and uh, this is equation number 1 and then uh, that force fm for this total arbitrary wire will be integration of then uh, that force sorry uh, this force will be small force for this length df df is equal to i into dl cross uh, b bar then uh, integration of that uh, dfm okay and that value comes to be integration of this term that is uh, i in bracket dl bar cross b bar <clears throat> this is the total force due to that arbitrary wire and that force get fm is equal to taking outside that uh, current then integration of that dl bar cross b and now this is the force fm is equal to i into integration of dl cross b bar that is the magnetic force of that arbitrary shaped wire here now we consider the third shape of uh, wire then uh, <coughs> force on closed circuit we consider again suppose this is a closed circuit which is uh, made up from uh, some wire then what is the force magnetic force is given by for that uh, any closed circuit due to a magnetic field b or magnetic field b here 
that magnetic field B which is again a directed outward and perpendicular to that uh, plane of paper then that in same manner that force will be obtained that here we consider again the this uh, closed circuit wire made up of a small lens dl then uh, total force will be obtained will be that uh, integration of that is a closed integration is given by dfm here and that force due to magnetic that is closed integration of that uh, directly we write that i integration of that dl cross b this is the force produced by closed circuit <coughs> and the terms in the racket is the sum of vector along closed circuit sum of vector along the closed circuit hence it must be zero when b is uniform if b is uniform and now this force fm is equal to zero for your b is uniform that uh, sum <coughs> of factors along closed circuit at that time that fm is equal to zero and now in this way very simply we can obtain the some expressions for force on a wire carrying current now here we consider that uh, three natures of wire when wire is a straight line now consider here that uh, conducting wire straight line and a magnetic field is perpendicular to that wire which is directed in outward and then we get the force fm is equal to i l b if theta is equal to zero if this b is not perpendicular then uh, that value comes to be like this one i l b sin theta and write it in a vector product that is fm is equal to i in bracket l cross b cross that is a length vector and this is a magnetic field vector similar manner we consider that arbitrarily shape of wire this is shape of wire current will be flows like this one and then magnetic field which is again directed in outward suppose that that wire is made up of a small infinitesimal lens dl then uh, we get the small force due to this length dl that is a dfm is equal to i into this bracket okay now we have to find the what is the total force due to this arbitrary shaped wire and then take the integration means take the sum of these all the dls that can be written in terms of integration and then fm is equal to integration dfm put this value we get the relation fm is equal to i integration of dl bar cross b bar okay and in, in this way we can find the force for closed circuit here uh, sign will be changes this sign for closed surface is closed then uh, fm is equal to integration of closed surface i sorry here uh, <coughs> 
i into that integration of closure surface that will be dl bar cross b bar and now this term in the bracket this term for uh, uniform magnetic field is zero and therefore uh, force on that closure surface is a zero if v is a uniform and now we can uh, stop here the studying the forces produced by magnetic fields on a current carrying wire okay